Hello, I'm Marco Corsi uh, from EGEOS. I'm here to present uh, uh, ARCOS, which is a project and will deliver a platform for monitoring of uh, uh, our, uh, Arctic area. Uh, where uh, this project has a couple of challenge domains. One is strategic because you know uh, the Arctic region is very interesting and lately is, uh, has become uh, a lot more interested because of the war, of Ukrainian war and the lack of uh, resources. And uh, of course there is a lot of gas and oil which, that is exploited uh, especially by Russia in, at this time and also there are security issues. And uh, of course from the Earth observation point of view there, is, there are uh, technical challenges that uh, are uh, really peculiar. For example, the seasonal difference in light condition. This is really a, a big problem because users want continuous monitoring of areas and of course with optical satellites you cannot do this. And this is a really big problem for them. And then there are also very, very, very hard conditions. The ice pack is continually changing and also on the land there is a snow melting, snow melting continuously over all the year probably. Uh, and, and, and so it's also difficult to implement detections in that area. So these are the challenges. And what we uh, address in Arcos, uh, we tried uh, traditional products and also uh, new products to address these problems. For example, we, uh, uh, we tried uh, more artificial intelligence for uh, vessel detections, which is a topic that is really important in order to discriminate between vessels and ice, uh, icebergs. And then we use uh, sensors like uh, Sentinel-3 and Sentinel-5P. Uh, this is from Sentinel-5 actually, but uh, it's, the, it's the same that has some sensors that can be used also during the, the winter, like thermal sensors and also atmospheric uh, particle sensors. And then, of course, we use SAR technology. So uh, SAR satellites like Sentinel-1 they can view in uh, also uh, without lights, so there is the possibility to make a lot of change detection analysis uh, with uh, this kind of satellites. Then uh, we come to the architecture of the system. We are, uh, we are in a project with different partners developing different algorithms and products and uh, we, 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 we try to, 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 to build a, a distributed system. So we basically uh, pack the algorithms in a container and expose the algorithms as an API. In this case, we choose two, we choose two uh, standards that are uh, OpenAO and Stack. So you basically will found, found the products as Stack assets into the system and uh, the possibility to trigger the executional processing, so the, uh, the, the generation of new products over new areas in uh, using OpenEO. And then uh, for the presentation layers, which was not really the focus of the project, but was uh, really important for the user, we use consolidated open source projects like GeoNode maps or GeoServer and you see on the bottom the, an example of the dashboard that we are able to build using uh, GeoNode in this case. So uh, which are the lessons learned for, Ar for Arcos and uh, free and open source software? Basically uh, the contribution of Arcos and I think in general of uh, Horizon, Pro Horizon projects is to bring a little bit more innovation into existing project. Now, now can, I can see uh, projects like GeoServer are very stable software and they focus on commercial uh, customers, but it is important that they can innovate. For example, in this project we tried a lot all the uh, stuff related to S3 access to raster data, S3 access to image mosaics, and we also support the uh, some bug fixing in these uh, plugins that were uh, really new to the community, were delivered, I think, last year. And then we use uh, uh, libraries, like, for example, a lot of moving pandas, geopandas, 
well, using them in a different, a little different way they are supposed to work because, for example, moving pandas is more for GPS trucks and we use for AIS vessels and so on. And then, of course, uh, the, the other thing is that we use uh, uh, APIs, open APIs, to pack these uh, processing chains. So this is it. It's okay. Thank you, Marco. Okay. With Here this is we... my connect connections, if you want. Okay. With this, we close the session. Uh, give an applause, please.